Hey there, here are your top news stories from eWeek. In a surprise move, Facebook announced on March 25th that it plans to purchase virtual reality headset maker Oculus VR for about $1.9 billion in cash and common stock. The first product Oculus made was a virtual reality headset for immersive gaming that was funded by a Kickstarter campaign in 2012. The campaign raised $2.4 million. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg said the move is part of Facebook's plan to focus on platforms to, quote, enable even more useful, entertaining, and personal experience. Microsoft recently announced that Windows Azure, the company's suite of cloud computing services, will be renamed Microsoft Azure on April 3rd, which will be day two of the company's upcoming Build conference in San Francisco. ZDNet's Mary Jo Foley stated in a report that the move made sense, considering that the platform supports a variety of operating systems, not just Windows. This move will also help disassociate Azure with Windows, which has a complicated relationship with the open source community, governments, and rival software makers. Amazon Web Services may have to work harder to maintain its position on top of the cloud computing market, as Google this week wielded its technology and pricing power to try to shake up the competition in the cloud race. With its new platform live service, Google is slashing its cloud computing prices and simplifying what's been viewed as an over-complex pricing model, which has been a major complaint about Amazon Web Services. Finally, it turns out Windows XP isn't the only product for which Microsoft plans to soon end support. The company announced it will also stop issuing bug fixes and security updates for Office 2003 on April 8th. According to officials, Office 2003 no longer meets the needs of the way we work, play, and live today, which is why the company plans to encourage the use of Office 365, a cloud-enabled business software suite. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to read more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.